Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Scott Chadwick and I'm here at UTS Science and I'm going to talk to you about the fuming of fingerprints using iodine vapour. So what we have here is iodine which is a solid at room temperature and we can expose a piece of paper that has some fingerprints on it to the iodine solid and what will happen is the iodine vapour will fume and give us some nice brown finger marks where we've deposited some fingerprints. So what we all we need to do we take a piece of paper that has some fingerprints already on it and place that into a beaker. Now we're going to place a small amount of iodine crystals in there. So we do that here. Now iodine vapour is actually quite toxic so in order to make sure that we don't have any health risks we're going to seal it up using parafil. And so by sealing it up it means that the iodine vapours are going to float around our beaker and make sure that none of those vapours are escaping. The finger marks will then develop in about 5 to 10 minutes and they'll form a nice brown uh, coloration on the paper. And here are some that we've developed earlier. Now if we were to take these out of the beaker they're actually going to fade quite quickly. So if we wanted to uh, fix these onto the piece of paper so we can photograph them for later, we apply what we call a fixing solution. And that fixing solution that we're going to use today is 7,8-benzoflavone. So all we need to do is take our iodine treated finger marks out of our beaker. We're going to seal that back up so we don't get any more of those fumes. And then we're going to place the developed finger marks, as we can see in this brown coloration, into our developing tray. We're going to add the benzoflavone solution onto there. And we're going to just leave that submerged in there for a couple of seconds. And what's going to happen is that we're going to form some nice dark blue ridges where our iodine has developed. So all we do is we just wait for that uh, dichloromethane to dry off. And quite quickly we can start to see those brown ridges becoming more darker and it forms a complex that we can then uh, develop at a later point in time. So now that we have some more permanent finger marks, we can then take photographs of these and then compare them to any suspects that we may have in the database.